So all set for the Kipco 2000 Guineas, and they're off and racing. Reasonably good line. Gloria Waits over on the far side is first to break the line there. Lettermore stand side with Toronado and Dawn Approach both racing handily early on. At the moment, they're staying out towards the center. Lettermore is the one that disputes the lead on the far left is Gloria Waits, who's racing solo. Toronado towing up the main body of the field with Dawn Approach, George Vancouver and Cristoforo Colombo, all relatively well placed in that group. Muha Jim comes next just ahead of Don't Bother Me. Mars Van Denier, correspondence keen towards the rear of the group as indeed is Garswood. So out in front, Letter Moore leads the main body of the field by two to three lengths and possibly just has the overall lead, although Gloria Waits is not that far away over on the far side. Toronado, as they splash to the water left by that heavy storm, is in third place ahead of Dawn Approach as they're on down towards halfway. Letter Moore with his rider checking where the main body of the field are. Gloria Waits in second over on the far side. Dawn Approach in blue and Toronado in grey have been side by side throughout. Don't bother me, pushed along, then Van Denier. Mars trying to improve with a white face. Christopher O'Connor Columbo has a lot to do from there. Likewise pushed along is Garswood. Now two furlongs out. Toronado and Dawn approach. Lockhorns, the big two, move past Lettermore. Gloria Waits still running a blinder over on the far side with Van Denier. Dawn approach the blue. Toronado in grey. The unbeaten horses with Gloria Waits for a shock over on the far side. Dawn approach asserts on the climb up the hill. Toronado now under pressure. Gloria Waits is back in third place. It's Dawn approach who's two to three legs clear in the guineas. Gloria Waits running a blinder as Toronado runs out of puff. But Dawn Approach, seven from seven, wins the Kipco 2000 guineas. They're lined up and away they go and leaving the stalls. See the stars not all that well away on the near side. Uh, Ganaras is one of the early leaders. Evasive is allowed to stride forward by Ryan Moore in the blue jacket, uh, in the red jacket, on the blue, in the blue on the near side, Ocean's Minstrel with See the Stars, Black Cat, Finjan, far side, Ukbar, just behind Ganaras, then Master Craftsman, Cityscape towards the centre with Monitor closely, and then Rip Van Wick. Ashram chases the leaders towards the near side in the blue of Godolphin, Frankie de Tori. Towards the rear, Imperial Guest, Pure Poetry is also out the back at this stage. Uh, looking towards the far side, Delegator about halfway through the field. Towards the left now, chasing Ukbar in that blue and white striped cap. It's Evasive that shows them the way just. Ocean's Minstrel on the right, Finjan between the pair. Then Ganaras further left in his Ukbar from Master Craftsman. Rip Van Winkle in the dark blue jacket. See the stars on the right, chased by Lord Shannock Hills, Cityscape, Delegator patiently ridden, then Ashram, Pure Poetry, monitor closely, see the stars away to the extreme right now, beginning to come with a bit of a run as they head down inside the last two and a half furlongs, an open looking race evasive, just spearheads them, see the stars now charging on the right, Delegator is unleashed on the left by Spencer these three battling on from Master Craftsman, Ganaras and Rip Van Winkle they race towards the final furlong Delegator and see the stars evasive is third, then Ganaras, Rip Van Winkle stays on, well inside the final furlong, see the stars on the near side for Mick Canan from Delegator and see the stars wins a fourth guineas for Mick Canan Newmarket Heath, jump away, Alfini last in, just about the last out as well as they race away. Shamrock City on the extreme left of the picture, right up with the pace in these early stages is Primo Valentino in the red sleeve jacket and Pat Edry going great guns. The white cap zoning close up, Giants Causeway, Faf also in the firing line. Shamrock City on the far side, Broach chases them up with French Fellow and Cape Town, then back to Bernstein and Scartine. Fox Distant Music is well covered up in the uh, main ruck of the field. And uh, right there on the stand side, you missed him just about uh, in front on the stand side with close up Manor Moon Bay as well. Fath is still there in behind the Millennium Moonbeam with a white face as they head down to the final half mile. Past halfway in the Sagittarius 2000 Guineas, Primo Valentino edging all the way to bag this stand's rail and leads by about a length to second zoning, Cape Town driven French fellow, the green sleeve jacket. Then out wider is Scartine Fox in behind these is you missed him with a bit of a run back then to distant music improving they went through the first half in over 48 seconds a bit slow by guinea standards up front could be the place to be primo valentino giants causeway now thrusting in between them is zoning giants causeway challenging primo valentino then zoning running on his summoner barathea guest also from the rear coming with a wet sail and king's best now in the sheepskin noseband king's best comes to take giants causeway and king's best Kieran Fallon's got it right today King's best scoops away to win the guineas easily in the end
They're off, they're racing then, and Dubawi Gold is slowly away from the gates for this. Kipco 2000 Guineas, Frankel got out well, Roderick O'Connor, and towards the near side, rerouted uh, with Frankel, who's gone on. Frankel leads to rerouted in second place. Native Khan, Casamento, the blue jacket nose bandit is going to chase through. Re Roderick O'Connor just in behind. Native Khan taking a prominent position. Jubawi Gold, happy today, have dropped out towards the rear of the field. But Frankel is already four lengths clear. He's heading down now towards the last half mile. And it's Frankel and Tom Queeley by five or six lengths to Casamento in second place. And then rerouted in third. Roderick O'Connor and Slim Shady and Native Khan just in behind those. Samid comes next and then comes Brooks. Jubalbi Gold is still at the back of the field, but at halfway, Frankel is almost 10 lengths clear. They're heading then down towards the bushes now. Frankel continues to be in a massive lead to Casamento in second place and then rerouted behind. That is par four. Jubalbi Gold coming from the back of the field, but at the bushes, Frankel is 15 lengths clear. Frankel is heading down the water last quarter mile. He's making every yard of the running here. Jubalbi Gold and Native Khan have moved into second and third places. Parfork is behind in third place. Into the dip. Frankel continues to be in front. He's six or seven lengths clear. To Jubalbi Gold is coming to second. Native Khan in third position. Inside the last furlong. A horse who is pure class. Frankel has destroyed them from halfway. An amazing performance as Frankel heads towards the line to make every single yard in the Guinness and win it well. Jubalbi Gold in second. Native Khan in third.